A Sydney judge has sentenced Daniel Holden to life in prison for the murder of Carly Pierce Stevenson and her daughter Candelise Pierce. There was applause from the public gallery when the sentence was handed down. Zoe Ford reports. Justice Robert Hume said Daniel James Holdham showed complete disdain for the existence of his girlfriend Carly Pierce Stevenson and that to him she was just flesh that could be extinguished for his vile pleasure. He said the manner in which she was killed amounted to extreme gravity and appalling depravity and he said that Candelise was a completely defenceless two-year-old girl who was intentionally killed with some forethought and the fact that there was a sexual element to her death only made it more despicable. Carly Pierce Stevenson was killed in 2008 and her body was dumped in the Belangelo State Forest. Her daughter was killed around five days later in a hotel room in Narandere in the state's central west. She was suffocated and then Holden put her body in a suitcase and dumped it beside a highway in South Australia. It wasn't until 2010 that Carly Pierce Stevenson's remains were found but they weren't identified until 2015 when the remains of Candelise were found and DNA tests were done. All the while, Daniel James Holdham used Carly Pierce Stevenson's bank accounts and sent text messages to her family saying that she was still alive, she just didn't want to be in touch. Eventually, a partner of his went to police and said that Holdham had confessed to her and then police also found an SD card showing images of Carly Pierce Stevenson's body in the Belangelo Forest as well as a diary that indicated that he intended to rape Candelise. Police said that this had been a very long and difficult investigation. They thanked the family for being stalwarts and thanked the many officers who worked on this investigation.